Limbaugh, who is the de facto leader of the Republican Party. He's no, it's not. Fox is televising this speech, which means, ladies and gentlemen, this is my first ever address to the nation. No, no one will, ride, will, will actually uh, uh, cry down some of the things he says, like when he comes out and says that he wants the president to fail. I want Barack Obama to fail. fail. I understand he wants liberalism to fail. Like, yeah. I, I get that it's not about the yeah. man, but it is still about the idea that he would rather have an idea fail so his idea could move to the forefront. Well, I hope President Obama fails. Well, and yeah, have but him succeed in that deal. he is destructive. How is that any different than what was said about George Bush during his presidency? Yeah, let me, I mean, let me so, so, so let's put right, it in the context here. Let's put it in the context here. Rush Limbaugh is an entertainer. Rush Limbaugh, his, his, his whole thing is entertainment. Yes. This is my first ever address to the nation. This yes, it's incendiary. Right. Yes, yes, it's, it's ugly. The You're the first Republican I've talked to, and I've talked to a lot, that said he's not the leader of this party. They will never, I've never heard anybody say that on any show. Oh boy, this is getting interesting. Let me just take you through it. First you heard Rush Limbaugh spoke at CPAC, right? And then we got this sound, which by the way happened before CPAC. This is Michael Steele, the official leader of the Republican Party, saying this about Rush Limbaugh to D.L. Hughley. Let's put that up if we can. Ready? The graphic. It goes something like this. I'm the leader of the Republican Party. Rush Limbaugh is an entertainer. His whole thing is entertainment. Yes, it's incendiary. Yes, it's ugly. But again, I'm the leader of the Republican Party. That's probably the most interesting part of that. Now, just about an hour ago, Rush Limbaugh responds to Michael Steele. It's good. Listen to this. It's time, Mr. Steele, for you to go behind the scenes and start doing the work that you were elected to do instead of trying to be some talking head media star, which you're having tough time pulling off. I, I hope you figure out how to run a primary system. But it seems to me that it's Michael Steele who is off to a shaky start. Now, Mr. Steele, if it is your position as the chairman of the Republican National Committee that you want a left-wing Democrat president and a left-wing Democrat Congress to succeed in advancing their agenda. If it's your position that you want President Obama and Speaker Pelosi and Senate Leader Harry Reid to succeed with their massive spending and taxing and nationalization plans, I think you have some explaining to do. Why are you running the Republican Party? Oh, my God. Well, can hip-hop save a healthy Republican Party? I wouldn't even mix it. You know, hip-hop needs an infrastructure of administration that that's really, really kind of showing that it needs help. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, the, the record business is in trouble, and hip hop is really seriously, you know, as a fiscal situation in trouble too. So it needs its own infrastructure right. instead of figuring out how it could be used to help something else. I think it's a, it's a, a culture, a subculture it comes out of the people. It got to be given back to the people. What struck me about hip hop uh, as a genre, as music, as, as whatever you want to call it, a culture, was the fact that you have guys like yourself who come out of the projects, come off the street. I, myself, I grew up on 8th Street in DC. That's a whole different world <laughs> from where I am right now. And the reality of it is, you I, took that I, I struggle. Come from Roosevelt, Long Island. It's not the projects. Well, it's not. But I'm, it, but it's black where black people where live. Where black people live. Where, where people, typically, the stereotypically or otherwise, uh, find us living. We've moved from that into something different. You didn't have to go much further than the Republican National Convention. It, it literally yeah. looked like Nazi Germany. Yeah, it really yeah, yeah. did. And I, and I make, said that point. It just does not seem like not only are well, we it, not welcome, not only are we not welcome, uh, the, the, they don't even care what we think. And that, well, I mean, here, that's, that, 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 that seems to be the way well, I, I like to say. I, I covered right. the I covered the uh, Republican Convention in '96. <laughs> for MTV. I, I've been involved with the choose or lose and all the rock the votes right. for the last 12 to 20 years and um, seriously their agenda was totally somewhere else which right. totally you know uh, didn't have black people or people right. in color in mind so they have a big, you know, they, may, they may have the right person right. to try to sell them. I'm just saying the tricks should be over is using something else to try to get black people. And, and, and I mean, real talk is going to have to get uh, people of color for real things. Oh, I, I, I just want to button this up because the drive-by's had a tizzy 
over my allegation that his nomination was about race. It, well, let me say it louder. And let me say it even more plainly. It was totally about race. Clearly a misunderstanding. My intent was never to go after my friend. I like Rush. He, I think he is an appropriate and very important conservative voice for this party. He's been there for 20 plus years. He's been holding that line. So a lot of good folks out there listen to him. I want Barack Obama to fail. Rush has been the, the clearest defining Absolutely. voice of conservatives Absolutely. for 20 years. Let me tell you who we conservatives are. We love people. You're a foreigner. Shut your mouth or get out. There's no foreign flag waving, no political organizing, no bad mouthing our president or his policies. I hope President Obama fails. Oh, they don't like Hillary? Let's give them Sarah Palin. Yeah. Uh, they they voted for Obama? Let's give them a, a, a echo, Michael Steele. With an echo behind their reaction. And, and, the, and the other guy who we're not sure who he is yet. Yeah. Like it's, it's so, it is, it is always so, it, it is so plastic that you go, wow, is this what they think? They think that we, uh, we, we that, then they're missing the entire point of what happened. Uh, during the Obama transformation, they mentioned the, 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 the entire point, and I don't understand that. That's, well, that's what seems so off-kilter to me. Well, let me make a couple things. There okay. was a Michael Steele before there was a Barack Obama. When I talk about hip-hop, I'm really not talking about specifically just hip-hop. I'm talking about the Republican Party having have an urban agenda, an agenda where where our community lives, guys like yourself who come out of the projects, come off the street. Myself, I grew up on 8th Street in D.C. That's a whole different world from where I am right now. And the reality of it is, you I, took I, that I struggle... I Roosevelt, Long Island. It's not the project. I'm trying to play off of hip-hop. things that you know you have to be involved if you want to say a hip-hop state of mind you the brand you're selling <laughs> ain't for us <laughs> the brand needs help the brand needs work there's no doubt about right. that I'm not trying to sell it I'm trying to play off of hip-hop does your party look to you as being sort some sort of a desperation attempt when you bet on black don't you win absolutely all right then we don't want to tell anybody how to live it's up to you the Limbaugh laws first you immigrate to our country you have to speak the native language to be the greatest country it can be. I want Barack Obama to fail. That's Limbaugh, who is the de facto leader of the Republican Party. He's no, he's not. Never I'm the heard de facto anybody leader of the Republican Party. To that, Rush Limbaugh says it very bluntly. I want him to fail, referring to Barack Obama. Do you agree with that? Yes, it's incendiary. Right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's ugly. Go after my friend. I like Rush. Uh, he, I think he is an appropriate and very important conservative voice for this party. He I look, uh, my job is to build my party after, after a tough two election cycles. No blood for oil has long been a rallying cry for activists against the Iraq war. And as the marchers demonstrated again this weekend, a top Washington insider, former Fed Chairman Alan Greenspan, <laughs> provided evidence that bolstered the controversial argument the Iraq war was launched and continues to be fought for oil. In his book, The Age of Turbulence, Adventures in a New World, Greenspan writes, quote, I am saddened that it is politically inconvenient to acknowledge what everyone knows. The Iraq war is largely about oil. Yeah.